hello friends welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video guys before getting into this programming assignment so here I am going to tell you that I want to prepare preparation videos for NPTEL final exam so I have already made some videos some regarding cloud computing internet of things etc so if you want the preparation videos that will help probably that will help you in getting good score in NPTEL final exam so you can comment in the comment section and if you want the python course oh, please comment in the comment section after that you can click on join button here if you go to the channel page and you, you can see the join button here click on that so after clicking you will get a page like this so a window so click on 89 rupees pack guys not 59 it is 89 pack or you can click on 119 if you click on 119 you can get access to live videos also if I upload any or if you want only recorded videos you go to 89 pack and click on join button and make payment that's it you will be become member of our channel and you can get access to all the courses not only just Python you can get all courses for just that particular 89 rupees per month pack only so guys if you are interested in accessing the preparation videos you can click on join button and join in your in our channel so hope you will use this opportunity to the great extent so with less price we are getting the mcqs nearly 300 to 400 mcqs will be provided the reason behind providing ms in the form of mcqs is the final exam may contain in the form of mcqs so it will be uh, nearly perfect preparation in accordance to the final exam pattern so I have given MCQs uh, by not just giving you the matter or content so hope you use this and please recommend this to your friends also so that they can also be able to access this so guys let's get into the video now so this is week 7 assignment of joy of computing using Python course guys I have also made a video on quiz assignment you can access that directly so this is programming assignment one question so given a square matrix m guys we know that square matrix means both number of rows and number of columns should be same if it is one then it is also should be one if it is two it should be also like that so i think you know that so write a function diagonal calculation that calculates the sum of left and right diagonals and prints it res respectively so I will show you the code now so friends this is the first equation code so copy from here to this from here to here guys please note it carefully because many people are making mistakes in indentation indentation is the main main property in the python right there is no braces only indentation is there in python so you should be very careful in writing this indentation within the for loop these three statements should be there and return should be parallel to this for loop and everything should be defined within the diag diagonal calculation function so by seeing this you can get it and this m should be in the same line that of the def and this should be write, written within the for loop and the these two print statements should be parallel to the for loop guys clearly note this some people are commenting that they are not getting the answer but many people got the answer because the only mistake you have done may be in the indentation only please see it carefully don't make mistakes you will definitely get it because I am getting the answer right so you will also definitely get it get the answer if you uh, clearly follow the instructions I have given so no instructions are there just uh, see that indentation is properly followed or not so let's see the execution now so I am pasting it here 
I will zoom this for you once again. So friends, this is the code. Please note it carefully. Guys, take your own time and you can pass the video or you can take screenshot. Number of methods are available, right? So please note each and every letter carefully. Each a single, even a single character can make you get error. So I'm going to execute now. Hope you have noted it. Noted it down. So I'm zooming back. I'm clicking on compile and run button here. So you can see there are four public test cases and four by four passed. You can see this passed, 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 and passed. So let's click on submit button to test private test cases passed or not. This is public test cases. These are so here pri private test cases are also passed. There are four one four test cases. So everything is passed. So our solution is hundred percent correct. So let's see the second programming assignment code now. So programming assignment two. So given a matrix M, write a function transpose. Which accepts a matrix capital M and re re uh, return the transpose of M. Transpose of a matrix means it's a matrix in which each row is changed to column and column to row. We know that already. So I will show you the code now. So this is first question code, and I will show you the second one now. So guys, this is the second question code. I am copying this. So everything should be written within the def. I mean transpose function only. This for loop sh should be in the same line that of return. And everything should be written within the main for loop. And this one line should be written within this second for loop. And this for loop should be in in same line with l1 l1 dot append of l2 so follow this indentation guys don't make make mistakes in indentation not only indentation don't make any mistakes wherever so hope you have noted it down i will show you on the compiler interface so I am pasting the code here. I am going to zoom this for you. So this is the code guys. Please don't make any mistakes. You will not get any error if you follow these instructions. So hope you have noted it down. I am zooming back. Clicking on compile and run button. To check public test cases passed or not so you can see public test cases 4 by 4 passed so our solution is correct let's check uh, click on submit button so here all the test cases are passed so our solution is 100 percent correct let's move on to the final our third programming assignment So third programming assignment, given a matrix M, write a function snake that accepts a matrix M and returns a list which contain elements in snake pattern of matrix M. So let's see the code now. So guys, this is the code. I'm going to copy this. So guys don't make any errors so this is def uh, snake function so everything should be right written within the snake function so these two sh should be within the for loop and the this statement is within the f I mean if statement and this should be within l statement and the return should be parallel with s and for loop within the snake within the function 
so follow this indentation guys why i am drawing these lines means to make you understand about the indentation which statement comes under which uh, control which indentation so that's why i have i have drawn this many of you people are making mistakes not many some people are getting errors many people are commenting that they have got that but some people are commenting they are not getting the execution and getting errors so that's why i have i have drawn this guys don't type in a hurry just take your time because it can't you spare 5 minutes for the getting the execution you can so just take your time slowly type this it's not a big code right you can type it within 2 or 3 minutes while typing it slowly also so do it slowly and correctly that's it you will get it so i am going to paste it here hope you have noted that once again i will zoom this for you don't worry you can pause the video guys actually you can pause the video or you can take screenshot whatever is possible so note it down hope you have noted it down so i am zooming back clicking on compile and run button so public test cases 4 by 4 passed so let's click on submit button to test private test cases passed or not so four private test cases are also passed so our solution is 100% correct so guys these are the solutions for week 7 assignment so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends and as i said in the above so if you want the preparation videos to help in you getting good score you can join in our membership with just 89 rupees pack or 119 pack whichever it is fe uh, feasible for you just go to our page and click on join button you can see many of our subscribers have become members so you can see that this is only sample many are joined in our channel membership so hope you take good decision so please recommend this to your friends also in case this is a semester subject for you please inform to your classmates also so guys this is the video regarding programming assignment and i have also made a quiz assignment video you can go go through that so until the next video goodbye thank you